most unreviewed or the area for the most growth opportunity at a dealership as it relates to the re to reviews. Um, certainly service. I think that um, sales reviews have been really through the roof. And I think that's because reviews are starting to really be used as a leveraging piece or a closing tool, if you will. And, and good salespeople realize reviews are fantastic referral tools. I think the piece that's been a little neglected has been that service, uh, the service department. And um, I talk to dealers all the time about this. You know, you not only want to get the consumer in to buy the car, you want to keep them coming in, right? You really want to build that loyalty. And that's where your service department can really um, do a lot of good for you as it, come, as it relates to reviews. So what we educate dealers on is, is you've got to be asking these customers. Nobody's going to do cartwheels out of your service department and think to write a review. I mean, that's just a reality. So you've, you've really got to build a process in there to ask for the review, number one, um, to get that verbal commitment while they're closing out the RO, while they're leaving um, the service department. But then you've really got to make it easy. In most cases, you have the email addresses of those service clients. You shoot out a reminder email day one, day two after their service visit basically confirming their verbal agreement to post a review on you. And, and you can send that link um, out to whatever site is really your desired site, whether it be DealerRate or Google Edmonds. Um, it just makes it that much easier for the consumer. Um, sites like DealerRate now, we separate reviews um, by sales and service. So you really want to make sure that you're having a balanced approach to, mo uh, to both, both sides of the business.